Okay, welcome back my friends to the getting yourself organized with Orgmode tutorial. In this snippet I will talk about the concept of repeating tasks. You remember the last time we scheduled all those tasks and if you press uh, Ctrl A, A you see your weekly agenda and you see on Friday there was the weekly review scheduled and here it's today is Saturday. I get it here and it says okay you already had it yesterday and today. But the big problem is if I advance to the next week, you see on Friday there is no weekly schedule. It's just once because I said I want to do it on this date. But of course the term weekly schedule, uh, review should uh, imply that I want to do it every week. So the easiest way is I add a modifier that says plus one week. Let's save that and let's look at the agenda again. I say control A, A. You see here is my weekly review that was scheduled yesterday and the reminder that I should do it today at least. And if I advance to the next week, here we, here we go. And next week and so on. You see, every week in the future has an entry weekly review. That was practically the magic of plus one week. The problem is, let's imagine, let's pretend, okay, let, let's, let's show uh, how it, it works uh, if I complete my uh, weekly review today. I pretend I have done now my weekly re uh, review. So I press Ctrl C, Ctrl T and I say yeah it's done. D. Now look at the date here. If I say it's done, you see I get a 2016 617 that means next week Friday it's scheduled and I get a line here that says okay I have uh, moved to the state done from next today on Saturday 11 minutes past 2 o'clock. So you see I'm recording when I have finished that thing and if I go back to the schedule uh, to the agenda CAA then you see it's no longer there. But if I advance to next week, here we go. It's there. Okay. The big problem is, let me close that. If you pretend, let's move this away for the moment. Let's pretend uh, I was scheduling it not on that date. I was scheduling it on the third Friday two weeks ago practically. So let's see, let's save it again. Let's see the agenda. You see there is a scheduled weekly review on the 10th before there is one scheduled and now if I'm here and I press Control C, Control T and I say it's done. The problem is it advances to Friday the 10th, that was yesterday. Because every time I complete the task it advances just by one week. But uh, if one week is already in the past, I should uh, do it again so that I say ok, Control c Control t I did it again and now we are on the 17th. If you want to be sure that such a thing will always be scheduled in the future, then let's remove that. And we go here, we pretend again it was on the third. Oh, sorry. Insert Friday. So we had it on the third, but now we press plus plus one week. The plus plus says the next occurrence is again on a Friday. But it's already on a Friday in the future. So today is Saturday. If I mark this task done for now, CT done, you see it's scheduled next week Friday, even skipping the yesterday's Friday because it's of no use that I 
do it twice. So you see now I have advanced. I can say my uh, weekly review is done and next occurrence is the 6th, uh, the, the 17th of June. And I have a sort of uh, timestamp here that says, okay, last time I did it, there you see a properties, uh, that is a draw, we, we come to that in another episode, I just opened it quickly and you see the last repeat was on that date. Okay, this, this one so far so good. The big problem is uh, I have another task that says wash the car. You remember it was there. I said wash the car. If I mark this done, now let's let's say I want to. No, sorry. I'm here. I want to wash my car every four weeks. Whatever. Just say plus four weeks. Now this was scheduled for end of May. And what happens if I say now I did it today, then you see what will happen, it's uh, CT done, I washed it today and it gets scheduled on the 18th of June, that is next Saturday, but I wanted to wash it all four weeks. So this is uh, not what I want to achieve at the moment, let me see that I removed it again. So we go back, we pretend it was 521, but you see the concept of uh, putting it into the future doesn't help me at the moment because then it's scheduled for next week because uh, I'm already three weeks late and uh, I can say, okay, sorry guys, it was raining the last three weeks, I didn't wash the car, but uh, anyway, if I wash it today, then I would like to wash it again in four weeks. So it's of no use to, to use that. We make a timestamp that is dot plus four weeks. And that means if I mark it done now, you can see it, I say CT, I mark it done. And you see my, my latest occurrence is recorded and the thing is scheduled for Saturday the 9th of July, exactly today in four weeks. So with that dot you say whenever this task is going to be finished then add the time distance and reschedule it. And you see it's, it's always creating a new next task and that's why because next is the first one here. If uh, I would start the sequence with to do it would create to do tasks and so on. So this is practically everything. Uh, about scheduling and uh, repeating tasks. If you look at the agenda again, you see I have my to do today, get the birthday gift. I have those reminders that there are deadlines coming up. And if I go to the next week, there is my next weekly review and so on. You see here are the deadlines. Next fri Friday in two weeks, we have a we re review again and on July 9 we have that wash the car. So you see now I, I really have a nice uh, scheduling system that also can take care of uh, tasks that repeat from time to time. Because there are a lot of let's say maintenance tasks that you should do maybe all three months or once a year or whatever and you shouldn't uh, forget about them and old mode is uh, perfectly uh, suited to remind me in three months that I have to do something again. Okay, that's all for repeating tasks. So thanks for watching and uh, I would like to get some feedback, some comments. Am I doing this good or am I doing this bad? Is this too fast? Is this too slow? Am I talking too much or too little? Is this okay with the concepts that we have one concept at a time? And uh, whatever you want to ask, just ask. Because uh, I mean, I'm completely new into screencasting and I guess I did do a terrible mess. But nevertheless, I try to improve. 
So thank you and we see next time with the next uh, small snippet and a bit of tutorial.